everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. The dream's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Garcia's making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Here we go, Fox. Come on. Round Come number on. one. Scheduled for the championship distance of 12. <laughs> Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? A nice block by Garcia. He back takes the a body. shot and then commits to giving one right back. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Halfway through round number one. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Keep going. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Let it go, let it go. Scored well up top. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. All right, listen, 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 all right? Stop waiting on him. You're waiting on him. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Keep it pumping, keep it pumping at all times. Nice work, nice work. Muy bien. Don't get too close to him. Don't get... Here we go. Round two is underway. Garcia's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Nice block by Garcia. Garcia's tagged by a tremendous power punch. The Dream's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Oh! <laughs> 
off target with that hook. Halfway through this round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Garcia. Seconds to go in this round. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Let's throw the combinations. This fight is too close. Let's throw the one, two, threes, okay? One, two, threes. Okay, okay, deep breath, deep breath. Relax, relax. You all right? You need to just keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep... Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Well-targeted right hand by the Dream. Now hugging on the inside. The Dream's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. The Dream's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's right. Body shot. Body. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Not much action as he just ties up. Garcia's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. Oh, you're looking good, looking good, just like in the gym. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. Go out and get it. Go out and fight these guys. Take it to these guys. You have to go out and get these guys. Lisa, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to... The Dream's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Flash. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before. 
but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. The Dream's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Halfway through one, two, round number baby, four. One, Keep them popping. Keep them popping. Scoring with the right hand by Garcia. Going Solid great, uppercut. Keep going. to the body. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the flash. Good way to protect the midsection. Round comes to an end. And it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who we waste ahead, but we time. They're we out there just going. going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. All right, we need to pull ahead right here. This fight is way too close, and I need you to jump. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. The Flash is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Focus. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. He missed with that headshot. Precise at all by Garcia. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Unable to score with the hook. Solid uppercut. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it. There you go. You're losing this fight. You need to throw. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. 
He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. He just missed that shot up top. The Dream's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Fine looking right hand by Garcia. Keep moving, keep moving. That's it, that's it. Shot. Big hook comes in. Stay with me. Stay with me. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all time classic. You don't need that, no, throw that away. All right, now let's go. Let's go. This fight is real close, you hear me? It's too close. We don't want this to go to the judge scorecard, you hear me? Garcia's corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. And he's holding. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The flash is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. The dream scoring with that right hand. Right to the belt line. Halfway through the seventh round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Nice, nice. The flash has given me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the nonstop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. down the final moments of this round. And round seven comes to an end. Turn them over. I want you to use all that power. Turn those punches all the way over into them. Start from the bottom up, all right? Bottom up. Turn those punches over. can't just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that button. 
You need to move that body more. The Dream's legs look really good right now. Here we are, the start of round number eight, Teddy, and he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, I have him up. His legs are fresh. And more importantly, you can see the confidence in him. He's still throwing that jab. He's still stepping in with it. You know, he's not pulling back from it. He's still staying a boss, staying in charge, looking for more. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. The halfway point of round number eight. Keep that head moving. You see him holding on. Not able to land the headshot. What a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Yeah, you got this. You got this one, baby. Nice. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by the Dream. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good, solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Nice block by Garcia. And he ties up on the inside. Move your head, move your head. And a nice combo by Garcia. Keep doing what you do. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body nice shot. Nice the work. Dream's really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the, the reasons on, why you can punch, say man. that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Hands up, hands up, champ. And now he's targeting upstairs. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. A sharp hook to the head by the flash.
You want this fight? Listen, you want this fight? You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. Nice work. He's hurt. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Blocks the head shot. Nice. The Real dreams nice. keeping his guard up very, yeah, very well. Baby, Teddy, good work. Good work. does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's fight, doing. Not fight. engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. Looking good, baby. You're looking real good. Body shot, body shot. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, Bang! Come right back with your own. Doing great, champ. Keep going. Hey, man, come on now. Keep your feet moving. Come on now. Counting down towards the end of the tenth round. It's Ten right. seconds Keep to go. Moving. Keep moving. And round 10 comes to an end. How are you feeling out there? You're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one. You got to keep working for me now. Keep working, okay? Keep the pressure on me. I go. Got it. Come on, now. Take a deep breath. He has a slight lead on your scorecard, Teddy, but nothing is guaranteed at this point. There's still a lot of work to be done as we start round number 11. Yeah, Joe, he's got to keep that offense up. You know, a lot of times you get to the end part of a fight like this, and you're a little bit ahead. At he's least tied. we have yeah, him ahead. Champ, and you start to let up on the offense a little bit. You know, you concentrate more on the defense, and the guy gets back into the fight. Keep that offense going. Pay attention to the defense, but keep the offense going. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Jump on right now. The dream's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. The Flash is not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's I more like see, an baby. elephant that's just camped out. See. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Halfway through this 11th round. <laughs> the Flash is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Nowhere close that punch by Garcia. Keep working the tag. Good, good. That's it. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. 
that's okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's gonna have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Side to side. They meet up for the 12th and final time. The last round has arrived. The Flash is putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher. But Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. And what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit. And hey, he might not win the fight. <laughs> it can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Head and body. Come on, champ. Head and body. That's right. They're not moving enough. Yeah, you got this one. You got this one, baby. Garcia is well off the mark that time. Okay. Halfway through this 12th get and final there. round. Flashes way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Left and right. Left and right. Keep doing what you're doing. The dreams really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, nice work, his nice movement. Work. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Oh, no. Last Keep 10 seconds Keep of the body. fight. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards. But, Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right. It looked like it was going to be an explosion, but fizzled out a little bit. Here we are. This was a sure and steady effort by the Dream tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Is it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.